struggling with your speech turning like this in your videos? Well, improve it to sound like this in Premiere Pro in a single click. Now I've lost track with regards to the number of times I've said on my channel over the years, whilst making good looking videos is important, making them sound great is absolutely critical. At the end of the day, if you've got a lot of spoken word, what good is it if you can't hear what you're saying? Anyway, a while ago on my channel, I put up a video where I demonstrated Adobe Speech Enhancement AI. At the time, that was a web based piece of software where you could upload dialogue heavy audio files and had them processed to sound more professional. And as I guessed they might, Adobe have now started integrating that technology with Premiere Pro. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro. And the one thing I want to point out before we get going is that as it currently stands, this piece of technology is only available in the beta version of Premiere. It's not yet been put into the full distributed version. So if you want to check it out right now, go and download beta. If you have a Premiere Pro subscription, that is available to you. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, I've recorded a short clip. Let's take a look at it and also see what it sounds like. Let's find out how well the new Speech Enhancement AI in Adobe Premiere Pro actually works. Now I think you'll agree, I sound quite distant and tinny in that clip, and that's because I use the onboard microphones in my camera to record it. Let's see how I can enhance it now in Premiere Pro. I have already created a timeline and placed my piece of video on it. So far I've made absolutely no adjustments to it. To actually enhance the audio, I need to move over from the assembly workspace, which I'm currently in, into the audio workspace. In order to do that, I can go up to the top, hit this icon to open up a drop down and go down to audio. When I select that, the audio workspace is open. Now the first thing I need to do is tell Premiere Pro that my audio track contains dialogue. I can do that by selecting the track on the timeline. I can now move over to the essential sound panel and tell Premiere that the track I have selected contains dialogue by selecting here. Now that I've categorized the clip, you'll see the essential sound panel is open, giving me lots of different things that I can do to the audio to make the dialogue sound better. The new part here is the enhanced speech section at the top. This is where I can enhance dialogue in a single click. To do so, once again I need to ensure that the clip is selected on a timeline. I can do that by clicking on it. And a point to note, if you want to enhance multiple clips at the same time, just select them all. Once done, I can go up and hit Enhance. As you can see, Premiere Pro there analyzed the clip and has now enhanced it. It was pretty quick in this situation, but then again, this is only a five second clip of dialogue. If there was much more, it would take longer. Anyway, you can tell it's done because the enhance button's gone blue and also this number is now highlighted in blue. Before we go any further and make any alterations, let's see what it now sounds like. Let's find out how well the new Speech Enhancement AI in Adobe Premiere Pro actually works. I think you'll agree, the audio in the clip now sounds much more professional. The voice is much more present and it suppressed a lot of the background noise and removed the reverb. Now if I wanted to make some further alterations, I can use the slider in the enhanced speech section to control the balance between the original recording and the enhanced speech. As an example, let's move the slider down to 3 and then see what it sounds like. To reduce it to 3, I can either actually just grab the slider and pull it back, or I can go to the number here, overtype it and hit enter. Let's now see what that sounds like. Let's find out how well the new Speech Enhancement AI in Adobe Premiere Pro actually works. I think there you can hear far more of the original recording. It's a much wetter mix as a professional would say. Now let's go to the other extreme. Let's turn the number up to 10 and see what it sounds like there. Once again, I'm going to go up to the slider, pull it all the way to the right. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's find out how well the new Speech Enhancement AI in Adobe Premiere Pro actually works. As you can hear, the original recording was not present in that mix at all. It was all the AI version. For me, it sounds a bit too robotic and fake, but it really is a point of preference. Now, let's listen to them all together so we can really hear the difference between them. We'll start with the unedited version, then work up through 3, 7 and 10. I'll denote which you're listening to at the bottom of the screen. Let's find out how well the new Speech Enhancement AI in Adobe Premiere Pro actually works. Let's find out how well the new Speech Enhancement AI in Adobe Premiere Pro actually works. Let's find out how well the new Speech Enhancement AI in Adobe Premiere Pro actually works. Let's find out how well the new Speech Enhancement AI in Adobe Premiere Pro actually works. I think this is an incredible tool, especially when you consider how difficult it can be to get good sounding dialogue out of a recording, which maybe is made in a noisy situation. This really changes the game. You can do it much quicker and probably much better than you can do manually. And as I said in my previous video, I think one of the most important things about this development is the fact that it means if you're out and about and you haven't got professional gear with you, but you see a situation you really want to capture, you can. Safe in the knowledge of the fact that even though it might not sound amazing in the original recording, AI is being developed 
to enhance it for you. You won't lose the opportunity. You'll be able to get what you want. Now, is it perfect? Definitely not. And one thing I have noticed is, especially if the original recording is quite quiet or the background noise is extreme, the AI can misinterpret the words being said and maybe not cover some of them. And you sometimes get some strange artifacting, meaning that it kind of blips in and out. It's not perfect, but this is its third iteration. It's only going to get better from here. So a quick glimpse into the future and what's to come. This is only the first iteration of this. So as I said, it's only going to get better. And the best thing about it is it will just enable creators to keep on creating and getting content out to their audience and not worrying about setup and post-production. It's going to speed everything up. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any comments, questions or feedback, leave them below. And until next time, have a great day.